Hi, this is Phil Pendlebury, and today we're in WaveLab 10. I'm going to show you how I use BlueCat's Patchwork plugin to give me different options in my WaveLab playback processing. Okay, so unlike Cubase and Nuendo, which have a fantastic control room section, uh, WaveLab doesn't have that. WaveLab has a little section called Playback Processing, which is unfortunately a little bit limited. The object of this video is just to quickly show you how I use BlueCat's patchwork to implement different playback processing options in WaveLab. For example, you have a set of headphones and you have your studio monitors. And both of them, you may want to insert some playback processing. For example, Sonarworks. So how do you accomplish that in WaveLab? It's actually quite tricky. Unlike Cubase and, and Nuendo, which have a dedicated control room section that enable you to put plugins pre-monitor and pre-headphones, but do not affect the overall mix, WaveLab unfortunately only has this very small playback processing section. And I've struggled with this for quite a while. And I've tried different methods. There are ways that you can set it up so that you have playback processing on your headphones only or on your monitors only. Um, but if you want to switch between the two, it's very, very difficult. Now, I've had BlueCat's patchwork for quite a while, but it was a friend of mine called Simon Millward, thanks, Simon, who suggested using it for this purpose. So what I'm going to do is very quickly just walk you through it. It's actually quite simple. So here we are in WaveLab. We've got a standard playback going on. You don't really need to hear any music um, for this purpose, to be honest. It's, uh, it's all about the visual side. In the speaker configuration down here, we have the setup for your different outputs. So number one for me is actually my monitors, although I've got it playing through headphones right now for the sake of this video. And number two is my headphones. And number three is my playback headphones, you know, for, for clients and people recording vocals, etc. So in this case, I'm going to take you right from scratch. Let's just start from the beginning. So we're going to load in Patchwork. There it is. We don't need anything complex in Patchwork because we're only going to insert two or three plugins in a row. So you can take the columns down to one column. And yeah, four will do. You never know what you might need there. The next thing I'm going to do is insert Sonarworks, which I have here. Sonarworks is actually still a VST2 plugin. There's no VST3 version. So this is for my speakers, for my main studio monitors. So I'm going to select my studio monitors there and make sure that Sonarworks is set up how I like it, which would be actually like this so it's a hundred percent i've got safe headroom on although i often turn that off and i've got boost and tilt at plus one there's reasons for that you might not need it have that have that all set up how you like it and save the patch okay so that's the main monitors set up so we save the patch and in my case i have it saved here as pp Event 2020, which is the name of my good old trusty monitors. So now we need one for the headset. Very simple. Don't even need to change anything here. We just literally change the patch on Sonarworks. Make sure everything's set up how you like it. Again, I have safe headroom on, but I'll quite often turn it off. And with headphones, you may want to add something to emulate the sound of the room or some crossfeed, etc. So in this case, I'm going to use a can opener studio. Um, you could insert anything you like here, of course. Uh, the Waves NX are quite popular. I've got a couple of videos on that and a forthcoming one as well. But for this uh, particular case, let's just go to can opener studio, open that one up. That's a VST3 plugin. It's already set up how I like it, so there's no need to change anything there. And then we'll go and we'll save the patch. In this case, I will save it as DT880, which of course is my headphones. All right, so that's the basic process. And of course, if you've got a third set of headphones on a separate output, repeat that and off you go. So now it's simply a case for me when I am playing back on my main monitors like this, I will just open up Patchwork. I will load the patch for the monitors. There it is. Everything is set up how I like it. And off we go. Yeah. 
If I decide to switch over to headphone listening, I just move to the headphone patch. And actually, I've got them set up right next to each other. There's my DT880, and off we go. So that's basically it. Using BlueCat's patchwork, you can set up multiple outputs for your playback processing section in WaveLab. And the bottom line with this is it means you have a similar thing to Cubase's control room in which you've set up the EQ and the sound of your speakers or the sound of your headphones and the EQ curve for your headphones, but it will not be processed when you come to rendering or mixing down these plugins that I'm showing you and anything else you add here that are in the playback section will not be included in the render. So that's it for now. Hope that made sense. It's a little bit more tricky to explain than I thought it would be. Um, please like and subscribe, of course, and there's some more stuff coming soon. So I look forward to seeing you then. Bye for now.